Hello everybody, glad you could make it. My name is Kaylee Ellen and welcome to a rare plant haul. Now, before we start, I know some of you may or may not be expecting to actually see the vlog of when I went to the Netherlands, you know, in the last 10 days or whatever it was. So basically, I have been literally knee deep in that footage for the last three days. Like I've got absolutely nothing done. So you will see that vlog. You're just going to see it next week because honestly, it's a bit of a beast. In fact, you might want to set aside a little bit of time to watch it. I think it's like, I think my raw at the minute is like an hour and a half and that's with a lot like cut out of it. So really sorry, but might be a bit long. Bring snacks, basically. <laughs> One thing I do want to do today though, is to show you a couple of the plants that I picked up in the Netherlands because they are very, 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 very special. So I have four plants to show you today and I think two of these plants are extremely rare. Two of them just aren't, if that makes any sense. So before I show you the plants that I picked up, there is actually something that isn't a plant that I wanna show you, but it is plant related. And it's a couple of things I picked up before Christmas. Actually, some of them are gifts. And I wanted to show you these ready way for it because these are really amazing. These are handmade velvet cushions. I bought these on Etsy. I think the lady that makes them, her sticker is on here. Maria Tilliard, I think it says. Was that gonna focus? That might not focus because it's used to focusing on my eyes, but I will leave her link for her Etsy down in the description below so you can check her out. I think she's based in Brighton in the UK and she will make you these beautiful handmade cushions. Now it's probably worth saying that she doesn't just do plant cushions, she does a whole lot of other cushions and I think I saw she might do custom made cushions I think you can make your own pets out of. I'm not really sure, I will leave the link below. So I got a couple of these cushions. I got three of these in total. I have one, I gave one to my mum for Christmas and I've also got one for my best friend as well that I haven't actually given her yet. Not only that, but I actually got a beautiful, and this one is awesome. Don't know if you're gonna see this on the frame. I got this amazing Queen Anthurium cushion. Let me just show you these a little bit close up. Again, I really do hope it focuses. I know I say that a lot, but honestly, if you could see what I see, it's, it's neither here nor there. Absolutely beautiful, beautiful, solid cushions, handmade, love them. Please do go and check her out. So I will leave the link below for those. I think she does. What else did she do? Because I want to get some more planty cushions kind of from my sofa area. And I think she did a Stromanthi one, a Monstera one and a Maranta one as well. But I just picked out those to start just to see what they were like. So I'm definitely going to be getting some more. Oh, disclaimer, this isn't sponsored. Nobody's paying me to say this. I just, I really like the cushions, so. There you have it. Right, on to the plants I got. Um, two of them are really, really big. No, three of them are really, really big. I'm lying to you. Three, I've got one here off camera, I've got one here off camera, and then one is in the back behind me, but I'm going to have to just show you uh, videos of it because I, I can't lift it. It's too big. So, first plant that I want to show you about, this isn't rare at all, but I really wanted to replace mine because mine was just looking a little bit, just, just not happy, shall we say. And this is the wonderful, Alocasia dragon scale and if you follow me on Instagram you will have seen this already but how amazing is this please look at that oh that is pretty it's got a couple of little little baby leaves some really really nice leaves and then this one massive one my brand new Alocasia dragon scale I do still want a silver dragon and I used to have one but I got one that was just kind of in recovery when I got it um, so I am kind of on the hunt for those as well. They're not very easy to find though. Again, not rare, just you can't get hold of them, so. Hmm. Okay, that's the only small one, which means I now have a problem. Um, hmm, let's do the other non-rare one. Now I got this, I will have to pick this up in a second for you guys, but I got this purely based on its size. I had a smaller one that you have seen before, but I saw a larger one and like, uh, I saw larger ones on Instagram actually a while ago and I was like, oh my God, where do you get these from? I really, really want a large one to just put it in my living room, take up a corner, just invade my space, massive plant. So let me just get what I picked up. Give me a minute. This is my huge Anthurium clarinervium. Now it's huge for, you know, a pretty obvious reason. And I think that's just because there's lots in there. Can you see that? I can't really move with these pots, guys. I'm very sorry, but there's a few plants in there. So it's big and it's bushy and it's just amazing. Look at this, honestly. Just, oh, I don't know if that's coming off beautiful on camera or big, but it's massive. I'll try my best to show it up to the camera, but it's not gonna be amazingly easy. There, 
How amazing though. Like honestly, I couldn't, I couldn't not pick this up. It's, it wasn't possible. So. Let me put that down. Oh, it stuck to me, it stuck to me. Ugh. Okay, that's the uncommon, should we call them, plants out of the way. So the next two plants I have are very, very, very special. Very special. You can't really get them. Um, I don't know how I even found them, I'll be honest. It was by pure chance that I actually found them. So I don't know which one to show first. One's back there, so I'll just have to take a video of it because I, I cannot, you know, show you properly. So I guess I'll do this one first. This is so exciting. I've never been this excited over a plant in quite a little while now, but I wanted one of these plants that I'm about to pick up and show you. I wanted one of these anyway, just a regular one, but I managed to find a really special one. And I'm, I'm not gonna waste your time anymore. I'm gonna pick it up and show you because it's all about the plants. So my super, super, super special plant I have to show you guys is Astralitia Nicolai. Varigata. I have somehow found, and do not ask me why or how, because I don't know, and I'm being deadly serious, I don't know, but I stumbled across this, and there was no way on this earth that I was not going to acquire this. So before I show you the variegation, there's something I want you to know. There is more than one Strelitzia in this pot, but only one of them is variegated, if that makes sense. So there's a Strelitzia on the left here, um, a one on your right, and another pop here, but this one here is variegated, the other two aren't. So if I try and show you the best I can. Oh, I lied to you. The variegated pops on this side, not this side. I lied. There is one variegated leaf here. There is another here. Oh, that's a damn good leaf. After that, there is variegation here as well. There's another variegated leaf. And you probably can't tell at the moment. Can I show you this? This is impossible. But there is a leaf here that is actually, you know, variegation is coming through. It would appear that the variegation on this plant is Polaroid, which means that when a leaf just comes out, the variegation doesn't look very strong, but it will develop over time. If you have plants such as, let me think of one, Monstera Peru variegata, a variegated Monstera Peru, you will know that when those leaves come through, they look a little bit variegated and over time the variegation will show up a really bright yellow. So I don't know if you can see that, but that variegation hasn't come through quite yellow yet, but it will over time. It's going to get just as bright as this one here. So we'll give that some time. I'm going to put this down because it's just, it's too difficult to actually woo, hold that up. I'm doing a workout just lifting these plants. So that is super, super exciting to have that. I cannot wait to grow it really, really big and large. I'm considering putting it where the Monstera is and swapping out the Monstera and putting the Monstera in like a bedroom or the office or something like that, because I really want this plant to grow big and beautiful and tall. And it looks like the variegation is increasing throughout the plant as it moves up. So I'm like, I am so excited. I can't even tell you. Believe it or not, variegated Strelitzia or Bird of Paradise plants are actually, honestly, they're probably more rare than, for example, Aspiritus Sancti. I mean, to be fair, Philodendron Spiritus Sancti has actually been tissue cultured. So although there are maybe a few hundred plants at the moment around the world, there is not a few hundred variegated Strelitzia around the world. So I feel incredibly blessed to have even found this. It's not for sale. <laughs> I'm more, I'm just so excited to watch this thing grow. If I look down there, I'm looking at my plant. Um, Oh my goodness, I've done nothing but be giddy about this since I've got it. So the last plant I have to show you guys, I'm not going to pick it up because it's super heavy. Can you see? Maybe? Yeah, you can see something in the corner there next to my biob. Um, so I, again, this is completely just amazing that I was able to stumble across this. But behind me, there is a Xanthosoma. Let me get the name of this because I, I always forget the name. I'm not familiar with Xanthosoma, but it is a Xanthosoma violaceum, I believe and basically the mother plant is having variegated pops right now it's so exciting i know it's like an actual dog giving birth but it's having variegated pops and i have trawled the internet for hours looking for this plant you know being in existence and this might be the first one that's coming out now which is so exciting, I can't even tell you. I will be probably be showing you right now some shots of what I can take of the leaf and everything else. And no doubt after this video, you may see pictures of this on Instagram. I'm so excited to have this. Now then, with this being possibly the first plant, you know, of its kind, however you want to call it, 
what I'm going to do is I'm going to look at propagation on a bit more of a, a mass scale for this plant. Whether that is, you know, myself going into production on it or giving this plant to a larger company to go into production on this plant. However, at the moment I need to basically wait. It could be a few months to see if this plant keeps popping. And not only that, but to see if the variegation is stable on this plant. Otherwise, really, there's no point. Do you know what I mean? If the plant reverts, the, the, the process is pointless. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to look after it. I'm going to nurture it and I'm going to wait and we'll just see what happens. You know, is it stable? Because the mother plant is not variegated. It's only the pups. So there's something that is occurring within the pups of the plant. If you don't know what I mean about pups, I just mean, you know, baby versions of the same plant in the way that an aloe vera propagates itself. So really, it's just a waiting game. But I am so excited. Being it's the first one, I'm, I might even name it. I've got a name that I picked out for it, to, you know, like a trade name uh, that's ready to go. But we'll see what happens. We'll just see if it's stable and if it's viable. If it isn't stable and viable, it's really not a problem. It just makes this plant even more special that so far there is only one of them uh, that I know of in existence anyway. So that's like insanely exciting to, to have that and to grow that. And I think that concludes my haul. I will do my best to keep you guys up to date with pictures of both of these plants on Instagram, which if you do not already follow me on Instagram, my username is Kaylian Official. It has changed, I know. I know we all love the old one, but you know, some things just have to change. No one could really find me on the old Instagram. And then I changed my name and then people still couldn't find me, but never mind. what can you do? Thank you very much for watching this video. Please leave any comments you like down below. Care tips would be great. <laughs> care tips for Strelitzia, care tips for Xanthosoma would be fantastic if you don't mind, because I am low key bricking myself. I will see you guys next week for the vlog premiere. I think I am going to premiere it, but as I say, it is a really long one. So make sure you bring snacks if that's your thing. Have a great weekend, guys. Bye.